the base without anything, which love the baggy denim. Super comfy because I don't know if you can tell, but it's really gloomy and cold out. Um, I really like this, but I feel like I could at least use a scarf. I kept it really classic and simple with the hair and the jewelry. I didn't want to do anything fancy. You just have a pair of Amazon hoops on, essentially, and that's it. I can't decide. I don't know. Also, have I shown you my chrome nails? I probably have. Focus. Not gonna focus. I think I'm just gonna stick with this because I like how simple it is. And it's like pretty sleek, by the way. This top is really cute. It's Lululemon from a few years ago. No idea where the scarf is from. I was gifted it a while back, but I just wanted something easy and simple. Boots are Steve Madden Kendall boots that are my fave. Um, and then my bag. Of course, my Ugg bag. I feel like it goes with like the cozy vibes, which I love. Also, I haven't gotten <laughs> waxed in a while. So I'm like trying to pull down the shirt because it is a bit like rutched on the side and cropped. And it kind of shows my little happy trail. So I'm trying to like be mindful of that and make sure that the front is like pulled down. <laughs> but I feel like this is, this is cute. This is it, I think. Let me see from far away. Okay, yeah, cute. I think I, I'm gonna go with this. I don't have my tripod out because I'm in literally such a rush. But cute, right? If I just wear it like this. My bag. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm meeting one of my girlfriends at this place in Nashville I've always wanted to go to. It's called Cafe Intermezzo. Apparently, according to their Instagram, it's like a inspired by 19th century Austria. I don't know. But the pictures are so cute. And so I hope if the pictures do any justice, it will be so adorable. So I'm excited to get a little decaf cappuccino. <sighs> Y'all, I get anxious and stressed so easily when I'm in a rush. I hate being rushed. I hate running late for this reason. Thank God I don't drink caffeine anymore because I would be <laughs> on another level. Okay, wait, I have to put my lippy on. on. This is my favorite lip liner, Nude Beige by NYX. I'm obsessed. And I have been using this. Um, Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Mini that I have. But I found this random lip gloss that I lost a long time ago by Revlon. I don't know. It's in a really pretty, like, rosy champagne -y color. And I thought that that would be so pretty over the top. But real quick, I've got to go, but... The plan for today that I'm like all stressed out over um, is that I'm going to Nashville to go to this cafe. I'll take you guys with me. I'll try and shoot as much as I can, um, but I haven't seen this girl in a long time, so I really want to catch up with her. But anyways, I'm going to go do that. I'll bring y'all with me. I'm going to pick up my farm-to-table groceries, which is a recent thing Hunter and I have been doing. It's everything's locally sourced, farm-to-table. I'll share more, more. I'll share more about that later on when I'm doing it. And then I've got a bit of a break, so I've got to edit as much as I can from this past week's video. If you haven't seen it, I'll go put a little card up here at the top. Um, my little decorate with me. I've got to finish doing that because I really want to get that up. And then I have to get ready, and I want to actually have time because I'm always in a rush. Case in point, <laughs> trying to get ready to go do stuff. Um, my girlfriend, it's her birthday and we're taking her out to Nashville. We're going to go to some bars. So, um, I have to get ready for that. And then tomorrow I'm going to a work party for Hunter, which he's not going with me, but <laughs> I like love everyone he works with. So I'm just going to go by myself. So that's the plan. I got to go. I will see you babes there.
One sec. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Here at the Mooberry Farm store picking up the groceries. I'm here with Jennifer and she said she was kind enough to talk through just a few little things that are gonna be in our subscription box this week. And I'm so excited to show you guys. Yeah, so for a very yummy dessert, a gourmet turtle flavored caramel apple. Yeah. Fully dipped. And for a little bit healthier side to balance out your caramel apple. We have um, organic turnip greens, mm -hmm. butternut squash, rainbow chard. Perfect. Then we also have sourdough, homemade sourdough English muffins. Oh my God. From Newberry Farm. And a sourdough sandwich loaf. Yum. We have from my own farm, Honeysuckle Grove, a wax amaryllis bulb. So you can have some I didn't realize these blooms. are from yours. They are. Oh, yeah. okay. That's good to know. Yeah. So this will bloom um, through the holidays. So you can have some pretty things to look at inside. And we also have several meats, some ground beef, some uh, ground Italian sausage, mm -hmm. and some um, two chicken breasts as well. And so we also good. have several other fresh veggies in there, like potatoes, butternut squash, and tomatoes as well. <gasps> Perfect. And y'all, I've been using their milk in my lattes every morning before work, and it is so good. Here, let me show you. The label literally just says milk. <laughs> and I don't know why. I find that so funny. But everything at the grocery store has, like, carrageenan and all the additives and fillers and whatever. And it, it's so, so yummy. So thank you. In a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow it is Christmas. All right, guys, I am home. Just got the groceries, as you saw. Wanted to say I had so much fun with my girlfriend and her boyfriend that I got to meet that were in town earlier. She told me she watches my videos. I had so much fun with you and Kiki. Um, I wish I could have stayed longer, but I had to come get my groceries. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that a couple weeks ago, I had posted my trial box for this local farm to table subscription box. It's called Tennessee Pasture to Plate. I'll link their name or their Instagram handle so that you can check them out, but you can do a trial box if you live in like the middle Tennessee area or you could do a subscription box and it comes with basically all of your pantry staples depending on the size of your family or you could do just like a protein box if you just need meats and cheeses and eggs and stuff like that. This has literally been something that has excited me so much because if you know me, you know I am such a freaking foodie. I love food, I love eating, I love eating when I travel. So having things that are locally sourced here in like the middle Tennessee area from local farmers, it's organic, everything is grown here, made here, all the ingredients are local. It is so good for you. Got our uh, sourdough, um, what is this? This is the sourdough sandwich bread. This stuff is so good and buttery. It's made by, handmade by Holly. She has an Instagram as well that I can put on the screen for you. So good and then she also, sent us with a sourdough buell, like a sourdough round loaf. I've got some chocolate chip cookies. Her cookies, y'all, are so delicious. This milk that I was talking about, freaking delicious. I'd rather have that than a nut milk full of, like all these seed oils and all these thickeners and all these additives, preservatives. I'd rather just have milk. I think at that point, you're better off drinking the real stuff, so. 
We've got some beautiful potatoes, the cutest <laughs> little butternut squash. I roasted that this last week with some uh, rosemary and salt and pepper and have added it to soups and as a side for dishes and it's just so yummy. I've also used it on a harvest salad, which I'm having today for lunch. Got that yummy caramel apple that I'm so excited to have as a treat. Turnip greens, broccoli, microgreens. Last week it was like rose radish. A couple beautiful, they look like beefsteak tomatoes. We've got our collard greens that are yummy. Saute with some like butter and garlic powder and some fresh herbs. These sourdough muffins, I might actually have one with my lunch got our fresh farm eggs y'all love that and we've got our ground beef pork and fresh chicken breast all in here so excited thank you jennifer thank you tennessee pasture to play y'all if i could be sponsored by something like that that is my dream because i love food i'm very as i get older i'm so much more curious and wanting to eat more locally and seasonally and everything is always seasonally everything is always seasonal and they've got at their farm store in college grove they've got like pastas and extra different kinds of breads and little jars of jellies and things like that that you can check out but that's that i need to get on editing last week's video um and then in a while i'm going to get ready to go out tonight so god give me the strength to go out to bars <laughs> you, know, you know this is what i'm eating by the way i've got the muffins some chicken that butternut squash from the last week that i roasted some sauteed green beans under here and then the swiss chard and butter lettuce from the previous week and some just some grated parm on top so freaking good oh and the milk because <laughs> i feel like i'm five and need to use it up and also just wanted to drink some so it's just that good. all right you guys i wanted to show you what my hair looks like at the moment i haven't done my makeup but i think my hair is so cute i'm literally obsessed how adorable is that i mean it literally the ribbon that I chose literally matches my hair perfect, if you can see that. And I've got my Skims bodysuit on and these really pretty satin pants. I knew I would wear them one day for going out or something like that. They've got this pretty little small gold trim detail. And I think it's so pretty. I'm going to wear some pointed kitten toe slingbacks or some pointed kitten slingbacks god and then i don't know if i'm staying with these earrings i was gonna wear some small ones because i didn't want to take away from the hair i mean i like it but i kind of want it to be about the hair you know what i mean i don't want to be taken away like you're kind of distracted i want it to just be about the hair i'm going to do my makeup and feed ruby and i'll see you guys in a second okay this is oh let me show you over here Oh my God, the rain is so loud. I'm late. I got to go. This is the finished look. I don't know how well you can see it. Y'all, so, so cute. Here are my heels. I don't know if you can see them very well. Oh my God, it is pouring. I literally have to run out the door. But here's that little princess poly top. I just kind of pull it down a little bit because I like that vibe with the straps and here is my makeup let me get in the light you can see it and the hair with the nails I just went with these little earrings see, maybe down here okay this makeup is gonna be literally all over me by the end of the evening but I turn off the tree. I got my gift. I will see you guys at the restaurant, I believe. I don't know where we're going, so. It's cold outside.
to eat the other half of my cookie that I decided to leave for tonight and wash off this makeup get my ass in bed because I is well past my bedtime and I'm meeting everyone tomorrow at Top Golf so I will see you guys tomorrow I had so much fun it's been such a good day I, yeah, it's been a great day and I'm so excited that you guys are like hanging out and seeing what we're doing. Um, I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit because it was a bit loud at the bars, <clears throat> but I'm going to just drink some water, maybe take some Advil just to be safe because your girl's almost 30 and <laughs> liquor does not sit as well as it used to back in college. So I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I filmed, honestly, but I hope I got some good stuff for you. We'll see. Hmm. Hmm. So good. All right, guys. Well, it is the next day. I am late. I finally made it to Top Golf for Hunter's work party. It's just me, and I love. I think I said previously the people he works with, so I just decided to show up, um, which I've done before, which is hilarious. I think, but I'm like 40 minutes late to this. I just, y'all, I am not made to stay out late anymore. I didn't get home. God, I sound weird. <clears throat> I didn't get home until like 12 o'clock or something. I think it's not even just having a few drinks. It's literally the staying out late that literally kills me. I am not created to do that anymore. I'm no longer 23, 22, going out and whatever. I barely had two full drinks. Like I had one, I had a roadie <laughs> in the car on the way there. And then um, had like half of one out or the restaurant we ate dinner at and then a half of one at another bar later on and I couldn't even honestly finish them so if that tells you anything about where I'm at in life Hunter I was telling him that on the phone on my way here because he's heading back to town and he was like yeah you're old <laughs> I was like 
okay thanks babe appreciate it there was actually a tornado last night which is wild that there was a real tornado happening in nashville um which is so sad like my heart definitely goes out to the people that were affected by that we've had one that hit right before lockdown during covid a few years ago but i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna have fun i don't know that i'm gonna have a drink or anything because i'm just like I really don't really want more alcohol. I don't drink much these days anyways. So I'm kind of like, I think I may pass, but who knows? Maybe someone will convince me to have one. My hair is still wet and it looks stringy AF, which is so embarrassing. I'm late. My hair is a mess, but I kind of like my makeup. It's just like very simple, you know, very like natural and the whole, you can really see it, but I'm just wearing some vintage Levi's, you know, my fave that I always wear in some, what am I wearing? Some white Reeboks, so. And then a big fluffy jacket, because <laughs> it's fucking cold. So I'll see you in there. friends well I just picked up my groceries I'm at Publix <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I didn't really get much at Top Golf. I just want to be really present I had such a fun time I love everybody there so so much everyone's so sweet and so kind and uh, make me feel so welcome when the person that connects me to their company is <laughs> even there so shout out to you guys you're the best I feel so like I feel so grateful right now on my drive home I talked to Hunter on my way back and I was like you know it has been really cool to start feeling like I really see our community in Nashville really coming together and in a way that I have not seen or experienced before and it's kind of vague to say that because there's a lot more that's been going on um, but just to see the people that show support for you and that love you like your family and your friends the people that really feel for you when you go through shit in life and through go when you go through the hard stuff that really show up for you and really want to be there to support you through the hard shit and want to help you carry it you know and I wouldn't say I'm someone that has a lot of friends, at least not anymore. I did, I had a lot in college, a lot when I lived in Idaho, I would say, but I was very, very young then. And now it's just been an interesting process just to see, like having just like a few or a handful of just very good ride or die kind of friends and family. And I, I could get emotional, but I'm not gonna cry right now because I don't feel like it. <laughs> um, but I just have been realizing that over the last probably few weeks. And it's been such a blessing that God has really been showing me that. And I just am so grateful for that because it has been years since I've lived here that I've never really felt that. And I'm really starting to see that. And I didn't before. And there's a lot that was there I didn't realize. And I'm also now have people in my life that just really want to show up for me and for my husband and in our lives in any way they can it just is so beautiful and so moving to finally start seeing that prayer being answered and I just I shared that with Hunter on my way home and he's like that's awesome because he knows it's been a it's been a bit of a journey since I've lived here I've been here like seven years or something six years but you know who you are family friends that I'm talking about so I love you I hope you like this video. I'm so sorry if it was like chaotic and like not well explained, but just wanted to document like a fun weekend in Nashville. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. I'm literally crying. <laughs> just talking to God, you know, it just, just wanted to encourage anybody. If you've been walking through a season for years, like your prayers do get answered. And just if you're stubborn like me, they won't happen in the way that you want them to or you envision. So you gotta be open, like let your heart remain open to whatever that is, so.
Want to be transparent and real on this channel, but okay, bye. <laughs>